simple, but yeah, that basically, I might have to explain it a second time. For, this is probably going to be people tuning in, they're going to ask again, but that's, that's the gist of it. It's useful, and it looks very funny, so once you see that in game, it's going to be great. Anyway, we're good to go. So, three, two, one, go. I wanted to hit the button, so Ricky let me hit the button. Okay, so there's a few, s there's, unfortunately, God of War games are infamous for unskippable cutscenes. God of War 2 doesn't have any. God of War 1 has a few, and God of War 3, don't even get me started. It's like 80%. I got him started earlier. It was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now there is no hope. So the opening area of this game is... So I run maybe between... I've, I've ran between like 15 to 20 games, and this is maybe the hardest opening area of any of those games to get optimally. Even to just get out of can be very tough because a lot of the... The skips are very tough, and having to explain them all is going to be pretty tough while playing well at the same time. So, you know, don't don't get at me for that. <laughs> so we got the we got the flag here. I was gonna wear it because it actually has sleeves, but I chose not to. It's not a it's not, it's not Canadian flag. Okay, so here we go. So as you see, the briefcases look great. They look they look great, you know, as always. So those are actually the blades of chaos, but because of the cosmetic skin. It's here. Okay, so the first fight, I can lose a lot of time pretty much right off the bat. I need to use a lot of combos to kill these guys. So every time I kill one, another one spawns, and I need to kill a certain amount uh, to open the hatch on the in the top left. All right, there we go. So now, first instance of RNG pretty much immediately, I need to grab one of the guys and swing him around and hope that they don't hit me. So... You're gonna hear this mashing sound a lot. All right, here we go. Hopefully they don't annoy me here. So we're gonna, we're, we're praying, we're praying. All right, we, we should be good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, they didn't hit me. One went with me, nice. Very hectic opening area. We're gonna jump into another fight here with the Hydra. Right here. And um, since we got a lot of, we got double damage, it's actually faster to do square triangle combos instead of doing the uh, usual um, quick time event to press circle. There we go. Gonna make our way across here. Stay away. Stay away from me. I need these orbs for later. Like I said, I get four times the amount of orbs, so I really need them early on. I'll explain what we need them for later, but here's the infamous one. So this is the harpy, the harpy skip or hydro two skip, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I need, I need an audio cue here. I'll explain it after. I need to listen when the uh, harpy scream at me. Oh my god. Oh shit. Let's go. Nice. Yo, one try. <laughs> Let's go. Very good. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's so hard to get. Yeah. Like, so quick. So that harpy skip, I you can fall off so easily here. I'm gonna just take it safe here. Wow, okay, that's really good. So first try is super nice. What you essentially are looking for is go inside that little room, jump on top of the chest, and block in midair. When you block in midair, the harpy's trajectory he goes the above the level so you can grab him and, and get to the upper the part Hydra. normally you need to clear all the harpies we'll and um, um and then the second hydra would pop out of the ship you beat him and then you go beneath the level and then you get to where you you are normally oh yeah this guy's a, our friendly guy uh too bad he's dead <laughs> yeah <laughs> that'll that'll happen a few times so uh, that box you just saw on my left, normally you'd need to push this all the way for the archers, but you can skip this, which is actually also pretty precise. Let's see if I get this as well. One try, okay. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. Good jumps. And uh, here's the most... Pretty. M I'm, Harpy is very tough to get past, but this one loses the most time if I miss it. This is the Hydra 3 skip. So normally I need... Uh, actually, I'll explain it after. It's pretty complicated right now. Yeah. I need to go all the way up here, get out of bounds. Looks good. Great. Nice. Oh my, Ooh. what a C! What a, what a C! Hey. No, no, okay. Wait, what? Very clean, my dude. Four, oh, no, that's, that's a gold. I literally have not done yeah. better than that. I don't think I've done better than that. It's out by a few seconds. Give or, give or take, like maybe five or ten. Wait, so is it better than that? Bless. Okay. 
Well, still amazing. Might want to well, it still, later. still amazing. I, I can't believe I just got Might that. Might want to later. Still, that very clean, very clean. World record pace, though. Yeah. Yes. The pace. The pace. Spicy pace. Very spicy pace. Could never escape. All right. So, basically, that skip. Normally, you need to uh, climb at the top of that, you know, rope mast thing that I just did. Take the rope to the other ship. Beat the Hydra, which swallowed a guy who has a key. You take the key and you kill the guy because obviously Kratos kills everyone in his path. But um. And then you unlock the door. Also, I hope you brought no your tissue box, you degenerate. Because we've got a, a, a very nice cutscene here uh, at ESA that you wouldn't see elsewhere. Because we're the best speedrun marathon in existence. Are we allowed to make jokes like that on air? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <of course. laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, yeah, like I said, unskippable cutscenes. They do suck a little bit, but luckily the majority of them are quite like at the end. They all like pile them up right at the end. Um, you can actually read a few donations if you want. This cutscene is semi-lengthy, and we got a few uh, la oh, few cutscenes later on that are somewhat lengthy as well. Uh, yeah, we've got twenty-five anonymous dollar, uh, twenty-five dollar anonymous donation. Um, just a quick word, there are plenty of bid wars and donation incentives coming up throughout the entire marathon, so please head on over to the donation page and find a game that you like, or don't like, perhaps, and donate for something that you want to see, or perhaps uh, you want to annoy someone with by putting in a huge donation on that, because why not? Um, there are prizes to be won as well, uh, various minimum donations on those, like an Elgato green screen, uh, a gaming chair, or um, some hard drives are also up for grabs. So uh, have a look, see what you uh, see what you want, and get in your donations. Thank you. So you thought we were done? <laughs> no, we've got a little more to go. I'm just gonna let it speak for itself. Yeah. Unbelievable. Is this... this okay. Is, this is required to Yes. Practice. Yes, it is It is required is for the run. Is it really now? Yeah, no, it is. Yes. No. No, no, no. I, I'll show you. Trust me. <laughs> Don't I, trust it. I, I am a businessman. I, I just... <laughs> no, no, no. I just want the orbs, okay? I, 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 ju I just want the orbs. I am here... I'm here for the currency to upgrade my weapons. <laughs> I, I am here for no more. All right, thank you, fine ladies. I will be off Let on my path. Of the gods drive your blades, Kratos. How do I even compensate after that? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly on. Yeah, all right. So, uh, entering Athens. This game gets even more silly after this, by the way. Um, oh, yeah. So what I need to do is aim the analog stick in a very precise spot to grab this ladder. And before the game can give me a checkpoint, the game's like, oh, you're grabbing something while the checkpoint's there. Let's. Now I, gu I guess yeah. you're beneath the ship now. He's gone. He's out of the yeah. ship. So you're not going to know anything of and what's he's going on. Yeah. That's yeah. it. He's off. It's off. It's begun. Go for what? No idea what's going on right now. But you will in a second, and it'll be very funny. So I'm not supposed to be diving right now. So when I jump and dive and press square above this or below this um, plank thing, I'm diving now. And because I'm diving without Poseidon's trident later in the game, this happens. <laughs> That's it. This is God of War. Yeah. It gets started like a controlled yeah. demolition. It just goes. Yeah. All right, I need an audio cue. Hold on. Hold on, boys. There we go. That music is actually a loading trigger, so I need that to get into the later part of the level. Um, yeah, so normally, you you know, your usual thought would be, you know, from like, a, I guess, a Glitch Hunter perspective would be, why don't you just swim to the end of Athens? That would be like, you know, the best way to skip things. Well. Going out of your way to get this ability right here is actually way faster, and um, it's very broken. I'll show you, you know, why later on. So here we go. For Medusa's gaze. Kratos, the gods are pleased with your progress, but your current skills will not be enough to defeat the minions of Ares. Oh yeah, um, the reason the skin I doesn't carry into the cutscene is because it's it's, it's a PS3 port, and it's you know, PS2 FMVs, and they don't you expect you to have the costume. It's not rendered in engine. Yeah, that's funny. The unfortunate things. I'm seeing the God of War mode in chat. I'm liking it. I forgot that got added. Bring me her 
Okay, so this fight and is pretty pretty all over the place. I really power. need to hope to get a juggle. So, yeah, let's see what happens. So, the only way to cancel the swimming uh, the swimming glitch in this state is uh, the um, the Medusa needs to put me to stone. So I need to mash out of that as soon as that happens. There we go. And now we need to hope for a good fight. It can be pretty random. Yeah. Okay. That's a knock. Yeah, that's fine. That's not too bad. Alright, so I'm gonna, as she said, rip her head off, as you do. And now what's coming up is something called the Magic Regeneration Glitch. Because the game now, because I have my first ability and the game is like, oh wow, um, let's give you all these enemies and this infinite magic to test out your new abilities on so you don't mess it up. Well, if you leave the room, which you can conveniently do by doing this, hold on. You do that, you do that, and you're out. <laughs> So now I continuously have the, the magic regeneration glitch from the tutorial fight, and I'll have that through the whole game. Is, oh. Yes. I see. <laughs> I was wondering why that was the case. Yeah. So um, I don't have infinite magic, should I say. I have re infinitely regenerating magic. So if I spam it, I will run out, but it does infinitely regenerate. Also, this cuts in so out of order. You're supposed to like come here through this way, and yeah. I don't know. This cut seems super out of order. And these guys are not solid. <laughs> they're, oh. me they're meant to be a render for the cutscene, but again, we did everything so out of order. Yeah, they're just chilling over there. Yeah, they're they're booling. Later. So now um, we don't have the checkpoint for the ship thing to get the swimming glitch again. So now we actually need to go through Athens. And of course, the swimming is the fastest way. Um, so conveniently, you know, you got a got a little. Oh. You can just do this. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty nice. So and then we then we do the again. same thing as before. Uh, Kratos really likes to swim, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, just do the same thing. Get under the bridge. And uh, we'll be on our way. So... Oh, that was a weird camera angle. Uh, the camera is actually notably one of the toughest parts to um, master in this game. So the, the camera just changes so many times. Like, basically every room transition has like a... You know, it's basically like a... I was gonna make a joke to like a bad movie director's film angles, but I don't watch many films. Lack of culture prevents humor. <laughs> <laughs> Lack of not native language. I don't know. I use that excuse way too much. My English is fine. It's fair enough. Yeah. What am What am I doing? Oh yeah. European speedrunner assembly. Yeah. So that um, yeah. You're not gonna know what's going on at all. Uh, literally. So. Obviously, the way PS2 games are built, you can't just swim to the end of Athens and the game's like, oh yeah, you know, you skipped it. You need to go through loading zones. And that the way we do it for this one right here is we need the text that says, go to Athens, there you go. And then we swim through this wall. So yeah, I'll be swimming for a while. Yep. You know, just strolling through the air. Yeah, God of War was like not big on sort of like cutting to black and showing loading. It tries to do it like in world, but as a result of that, you can't just go from point A to point B in a straight line. You have to kind of yeah. futz around on like vaguely near the intended path to get the game to actually load things in the correct order. Otherwise, stuff doesn't load, and then you end up in a void, and it sucks, and you can't progress. It's funny you mentioned that though, because while the game does that most of the time, uh, what's coming up like now is actually yeah. There's yeah. Okay, so bit of a void there. I'm gonna do something here called, uh, well it's, it's called a mid-level loading screen. I'm gonna be menuing during this mid-level loading screen. So as I said, I have, a, I have Medusa's Gaze and I wanna upgrade that ability right now. So right here by this corner, I wanna pause the game and upgrade on the right there to about 1,600. And basically, because the game is loading in the background, I can do two birds with one stone and just <coughs> upgrade my abilities while the game's loading. Make use of that dynamic loading a lot through the run to get your upgrades out in time without actually losing any time because you can't like outrun yeah. the game's ability to load itself. Also, the double select tapping thing is either for uh, to load a new area or to for a camera change. That's for a camera change right there. They so don't, they don't know what to do with you. Yeah, <laughs> they don't. They, I'm not expected to be swimming in the air. Kratos, the beautiful butterfly. Yeah. 
the briefcase butterfly. Oh, uh, butterfly. oh, actually, the you know what the briefcase actually looks like? Uh, it actually looks like the Domino's, uh, <laughs> like pizza boxes. Shout out to Domino's, it's sponsored by this event. So, right here, this is a cutscene where we're supposed to get introduced to the to the harpy enemies, and nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> I don't, I don't want. So we just hug the ceiling. And you never see the harpies. Well, you saw them earlier, but that that in here is like an introduction cutscene. And uh, yeah. So fun fact: the swimming glitch is literally in almost every God of War game. Uh, it's in like one, two, three, in the PSP ones as well. And it's used like progressively less and less throughout all of it. So it's used for like four minutes or something like that in this game. Then it's used for like a minute in in two, and then 30 seconds, and then in God of War Ascension, I think it's used for six seconds or something like that. Six seconds. Yeah, and then yeah. it yeah it just goes down progressively. But for some reason, they just thought you know, we we gotta we gotta leave it in. You know, it's kind of like the Tony Hawk games and the goat or whatever. We gotta leave the swimming air in. Oh yeah, that's that part I went below was the part where you're supposed to rescue the oracle. Nah, <laughs> again, you can just you can just swim right below it. Um. Swimming is almost done, so I don't know how to explain this. Getting that music triggers the sewer. So if I kept swimming towards the camera, that's where the sewers are. But if I get the music and then go back to this area, it warps me into the sewers for no reason. I, I don't know. I found it on accident. It only saves like two seconds. But at the bottom here, that's where the swimming glitch ends because luckily for us, um, there's a pool of water, and that cancels the swimming glitch. So here we are in the sewers. So I'm going to be doing roll dash canceling through this. I guess I should be explaining that. Um, when I upgraded the blades to level 2, I got the shoulder bash. And you can animation cancel that into a roll. So you can shoulder bash into a roll. So you, if you can see it on the camera, I'm actually holding the controller in a claw grip. That's because it's more optimal to move that way. Alright, so a little minor instance of RNG. Hopefully I get lucky here. I'm going to turn these enemies into stone. And I need good orbs from at least one of these guys. That's... That's a little bad. Hopefully he doesn't hit me. I really need good orbs here. That is... That's actually bad. I'm going to kill another one. We'll see if that's enough. That should be good. It's actually very rare you have to kill another enemy, so that's quite unfortunate. But I should be okay now. Um, I need enough orbs to get Medusa's Gaze to level 2. And that allows me to do a fight inc like much quicker. Like literally almost a minute faster than normally. Oh yeah! <laughs> Stair rolling! <laughs> It's the awkward. Spiral staircase. Yeah, it's it's awkward. Is there a game where spiral staircases aren't like incredibly awkward? You're thinking of Silent Hill, aren't you? I'm thinking of Silent Hill. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Don't yeah. don't at me <laughs> during the. <laughs> during the <laughs> so, right here is a few more mid-level load screens. Very very short ones, but they are there. Um, you'll see what they look like later. So it does look random for now as to when I'm menuing, but it'll make sense later. Trust me. One here, I kind of rolled into the wall. That should be all right. As you can see, camera changes are just, yeah. That one is very hard to, to zoom out. It's very hard to master. All right, so now we enter Desert of Lost Souls, which is a uh, very infamously casual part, I'd say, where you have to find the sirens. But we'll get into uh, more of that later. We can read donations if you want, because it's probably a pretty Great good time. Us. Yes, we have 25 anonymous dollars, uh, 25 from Elipipinue, Eli something like that, uh, $15 from Fishy, uh, a $50 anonymous donation, uh, $25 from Toggleton uh, GER, who says, for the German restream, Rommel, or eine am Productive Wosch, Kappa. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for your donations. There is cool. safe passage so, sands, only they do explain the story the um, you know, vaguely. I guess I can go over it in one of the longer cutscenes later on. I just don't really have only enough time to explain it right now. It's, it's a little complicated, or rather time-consuming. Also, if chat actually has questions for me, Zeus just wait until... It'll be actually like somewhere in the 55-minute mark. I'll do a huge Q&A because we got a long cutscene and... Um, I just thought it would be more, a little more interesting. Well, I have two Q&As uh, coming up in later cutscenes. We can even do three, but, um, some longer cutscenes. Just thought it'd be better instead of doing donations. With Pandora's box. So save your questions and uh, ask us later.
Follow the song of the sirens, Kratos. Find and destroy them all. And the path through the deadly sands will be open to you. So, there's a temple at the end of uh, the Desert of Lost Souls. Also, I get made fun of this rolling, roll jumping through the desert thing a lot because I run a game, I, a game I'm infinitely known for, got ruined by roll jumping through the desert. So, they're all, they're all like, they're all saying like, well, you're just doing the same thing in this game. Why, why aren't you just going back to it? Well, problem is it's only for 15 seconds there. Nice. Oh, and he's out. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I skipped all the sirens there. Uh, you normally kill. You know, you're supposed to kill three sirens, uh, and it opens the door to the to the temple. But I clip through the floor as as you do. It's a very glitchy run, and it actually gets even worse. Honestly, if you thought this was bad, yeah, it, it gets worse. <laughs> like a lot worse. Get a little Jesus moment here. Making our way through here, and this is actually what I upgraded Medusa's gaze for. Um, well, you need to have it level two before this fight, but later on you will definitely need level two, and I'll show you why later. So, um, I don't know. I guess somebody in my chat made a joke about this cutscene where it was like he said some something like, "This is my GF if I haven't called her in two days or something like that." Uh, you'll 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 see. <laughs> Brilliant. It's actually a very technical fight. I'm going to focus. Hold on. Alright. Not super work. Well, not, not super good, but totally fine. I'm actually supposed to be switching like left and right and do like freeze, smack, freeze, smack, like just back and forth like that. I've, I've been having a little bit of trouble with that, so. Also, you can see you can see Chronos in the back barely, but as as usual, it, it switches. It's a pretty neat cutscene. All right, uh, first Q and A in the chat. Well, not really Q and A, but I'm just gonna ask you guys a question. How many days does? Kratos climbed the giant's back for Kronos, the last You actually the know this, Titans I told you, didn't I? I think I've immediately forgotten it, however. Sands. Oh. On his I back, Pandora's oh, you don't? Temple oh, I, I, I definitely can't patient. not pay attention to the cutscenes, because you're forced to watch them. Give a, give a... I'm just seeing numbers. Give me some, give me some days, some months, some, you know, extended periods of time. I want to see, I want to see this. Yeah, we're just seeing numbers right now. <laughs> so how long? Twelve. No context. Maybe twelve. <laughs> 12 minutes. 12 minutes climbing, like, this really space. Don't forget, this is Greek mythology we're talking about. So, it may be a little unrealistic. <clears throat> An hour, 12 years. Okay, okay. Yeah, here you go. You can, you can see it here for yourself. For three days, Kratos climbed the sheer yeah. walls of the mountain. No hungry he anything, you know. Just, Pandora's box, you know, he's fine. Or perish inside the cursed temple. Never Check out like how he gets to the, the top. You know. <laughs> you know, still as strong as ever. Still looking fine. Still looking mighty fine. He's determined. Very good music, by the way. Great soundtrack of this game. Okay, so we got two very big skips coming up. Um, I say two. The first one saves three seconds. The other one saves like a minute. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade the blades now for a later skip. Uh, to 14 or 13. We're going to do that. There we go. This is a very, very tricky skip. Yep, yep, yep. We got it. Easy peasy. And then we're going to clip through this chest... Oh. And get behind this door. <laughs> so normally you're supposed to talk to the, the guy that's like, You cannot enter Pandora's temple. Everyone has died going through this. And then he lets you go in anyway. But we never talk to that guy. You'll see him in a later cutscene. He's just going to be looking kind of ish. But, yeah. 
Small fight here. I can take my time with this one because I'm waiting for a timer uh, of these archers at the end of this door here to pop up. Okay, he's gonna come out the ground like now. There we go. And two more, and that's the fight. <coughs> cool. There's actually a very, very annoying glitch in this uh, in Pandora's Temple. I don't really like is when you first enter it, you can hear the Pandora's Temple music play throughout the entire game, even though you have a different soundtrack on it, so it overlaps. It's luckily a very silent track, but you can hear it, and it it is annoying. And the only way to get rid of it is to restart the console or uh, go back to the main menu. I'm gonna take this safe and menu a bit early. Get into this area. As you can see by the spike walls, not many have made it. You know, I can tank it just fine, but these guys are fucking wimps, you know. So, whoa, hello. Cameras. Cameras. The Camera. Yeah, cameras. Your is an enemy. It really is. Also, um, another thing with the camera that's a bit weird. I think I kind of forget my muscle memory. I think if you hold down left, look at this. No, it's 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 straight back. I think even though the camera from that angle shows you're supposed to roll upright, right? If you hold down, he does a roll the right direction. <laughs> so how long was it we turned this crank for? <laughs> oh, another infamous joke. You turn this for 40 seconds. Yeah. Oh, twice. Yeah, two times. Yeah. I have, an, I have an FFZ emote. If FFZ is active, post the post the emote. It should still be there. Rock crank. Red crank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for three days, Kratos turned the... Whatever. I can't believe this speedrun is three days long. <laughs> You've been here for three days. Okay. One, one more. One more. I'm sure of it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now the run gets interesting. So with oh, the Medusa's gaze being to level two, oh, I now have Medusa's flash, which is instead of using the Medusa head to slowly st um, well. turn the enemies into stone, you have a flash that deals a set amount of damage of the stone the damage, I guess you'd call I it. Now with the Blade of Artemis, which you'll see displayed in this cutscene, those two combined now gives me a an infinite weapon. jump. And I say infinite jump because you can get Take a lot of height so it's more like a high jump. So I'll be referring to it as both, whatever you know gets to my mind first. So this is where the run really starts getting broken, and I apologize if you don't understand anything from here on out. <laughs> Watch at your own risk, I guess. Um, so first, I need a loading trigger um, to get further into the temple. Again, camera's biggest enemy here. Let's go back here. Oh, no. All right, so I want to turn the camera there. And now I want to use the Blade of Artemis to get out of bounds, along with Medusa's Gaze. It's a very technical explanation on all of that, how all of that works. All right, this is a very tough jump coming up. Oh, never nah. mind, or I could just do that. Oh, I got the good checkpoint, I'm happy. I didn't waste too much time. That can send you way further back. That's only like 10 seconds, it's fine. Um, right after this, there's a very tough skip coming up. Hey, uh, this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. It's so hard, and you have to do it twice. It saves way less than that other one I just did, but. All right. So in this room, uh, there's a statue behind me. You can very quickly see it. He has a boulder, and you're normally supposed to uh, get the boulder to roll through this door that's uh, slightly cracked. Again, nah. You know, nah. As I've said a million times. Whoa, what the? Wee. <laughs> Physics. So we get up here, and with a little bit of magic, we can get through the ceiling. And we don't have to break the door open at all. I once listened to metal like while ripping this head off, and it was like the hardest riff, and I was just like, damn, this is, this, I, I've never mashed harder in my life. It was the, gra it was the greatest thing ever. So the game gives us an exit. Uh, which is slower than going back this way. Conveniently, once again, the, <laughs> the ceiling isn't solid. I'm just gonna yeet my way back there. 
Um, so I have to do the jump again. Hopefully it doesn't. I don't fail it. Ugh, I'm gonna fail it. Yeah. You need to. You need to delay the jump by a lot. There you go. All right. I'm. I'm. I'm guessing one hit through this saw room. One hit. Yeah. One hit. Oh, two hit. It's. It's a very like the cycle is so. It, that room goes by so fast. There's no reason to wait for any of the cycles. You go. You just have to go. All right. Yeah. That. That skips easy. And he's up through the floor. Yeah. I remember when I came to this game, everyone was like, oh, I can't get this skip. I'm just like, no, it's easy. You just jump on the plank. And there you go. Easy. Where am I? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to do too many fast things out of bounds here. There we go. Just because I don't want to fall off. Okay, so... Coming up is a pretty tough skip. So that's what a mid-level loading looks like. But since, uh, since I'm ahead of the loading thing, um, or like, since I'm, I need to not upgrade the blades, basically. I need to keep them almost level three, and I'll explain why later. This is the hardest skip in the run, I'm pretty sure. Uh, probably not by much, but it's, it's one of them. Um, I found it quite far into me grinding this game. You can skip the cutscene of that's on a ladder, so I need to jump off a ladder, which is incredibly awkward. And I need to get around a, a cutscene trigger. Did I go too far? Wait, what am I... Hold on. Wait. Cranked it too much. Or did you crank oh, it too Oh, there low? we go. No. Oh, what's... Insufficient it, I just felt. I just felt like... You do it for 40 seconds, and sometimes it just feels like way too much. I was literally half a rotation off. Anyway, hold on. Let me get this. I'm gonna try again. He didn't turn around with the sword, so I really wanna I really wanna try and get this again. That looks better. Yes! Yeah, yes. There you okay, go. okay, okay. Nice. There we go. Skips the cutscene entirely, but also crucially the there's a boulder rolling around that middle bit. Yeah. Skipping the cutscene, normally, like the cutscene that triggers on that ladder gets rid of the boulder. If you skip that cutscene, the boulder never stops rolling. Yeah. You go back there later. It's still there. Yeah, and you can die to it. All right, so right here, uh, oh, wait, hold on. I have to, I think I have to, hold on. Uh, I have to, hold on, I have to roll in and restart. Uh, hold on. Okay, I'm screwed. I think I have to, yeah, I have to see it. Yeah. I did a very, very technical skip there, and I failed it. This is unfortunately a 30 second cutscene. So what I was supposed to do is uh, I was supposed to roll into the cutscene, upgrade the blades to level three, and then I had to reload. So the game is trying to upgrade the blades. Because that's in priority, the game delays the cutscene. Uh, so you can squeeze through the cutscene while the blades are upgrading. Um, I'm just gonna make sure the blades are actually level two. Yeah, they are. So that's unfortunate, but it's fine. So we can just get around this. This barrier would normally be here if I didn't get the cutscene. But I can just do this. So that's fine. Oh, am I good? Yeah, I'm good. There you go. There we go. All right, wall of hell. Let's see. <laughs> There's a lot of archers here. Don't hit me. Wow, unfortunate. Na straight on up there. Na aim. Na aim. Again, forced fight. No. We just skip over that. Is the fight truly forced if you just skip it? Truly? They're still trying to fire at me, by the way. Oh. Okay, so we got a rotating room here. Uh, there's four chests. And again, since we're on NG+, these orbs just give me a ridiculous amount. I, they give us like five bars, as you can see, on the red meter in the, uh, in the HUD on the top left. So, you can get all four, but... You could just die to the fourth one randomly, so might as well just not do that. I'm gonna show off some tech. I'm gonna press buttons, because this looks cool. Show me some tech, Ricky. Show me some tech. Alright, let me let me see what I got up my sleeve. I've got this. I could do it, I could do a sticky walk. Check this out. 
<laughs> Looks great. That sticky walk is actually very useful, but it's way too technical of an explanation. Probably go over. Um, the reason, I guess I can go over it a little bit. The reason uh, the, the infinite jumps aren't infinite, why they're called Medusa's Gaze High Jump, is because um, not only do you run out of magic, uh, you also run out of something called air momentum. So eventually the infinite jumps, I'm going to just call them infinite jumps, high jumps, whatever. Um, Eventually, you will stop lose. You will stop gaining height on those infinite jumps, so you'll start descending instead. And when you do that, you need either new air momentum or you are you don't have anything else to do, so you need to drop them. This is also a very. It's it's not like too bad if I miss it. It's just you know a few seconds. I can attempt it for as many times as I want, but it's very precise. You're normally supposed to get a crank to get the um, to pull down this cage, but I can actually land on top right next to it. Yes, sir. There he's you go. on, he's on. Yep, Pushes it go. down. Skips the puzzle. Skips the puzzle. Okay, so fun fact. Um, on the on the PAL version of this, so you can actually see what version I'm playing on based on this little thing here. That enemy that's in the cage is actually a soldier like screaming for help on NTSC. I guess they thought it was like too brutal on PAL or something. But yeah, that's a version difference. And you know, once you see what we do with this fiend at the end, you might see why it's a little brutal. But yeah, God of War definitely probably ended up starting some controversy back in the day. Oh, grab it. I'd say this is too brutal, but like everything else, totally fine. Yeah, definitely prob uh, probably started some controversy you know, when this game was released in 2005. Um, so yeah, here we go. We push him in here. It's faster to. Because we're not on the slope now, it's faster to do this. So it's a kick up like that. Oops. <laughs> Just wanted them to stay quiet. Give them a little kick. So we put him on this. Yeah, and the guy on NTSC is screaming for agony at this point. So yeah. You have to do this to open the door. Actually, you. there is a TAS only skip in that room that you can get around it. And no one's really done it ever. It's, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. So this right here, after we grab Poseidon's Trident, Poseidon's Trident allows us to uh, dive underwater, which we broke earlier, what? Which we broke earlier with the, the swimming glitch, but now we can actually dive underwater. It's the actual ability. Um, so this is the second longest Medusa's Gaze jump, so I'm just gonna be a bit quiet here for it. Second longest one. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, reset, one, two. There we go. Hey, nice. last one. Nice. There is a longer one coming up later, and that is definitely a bit, it's a bit tougher, but especially tough for beginners. So there's two ways of getting out of bounds, and uh, my PB actually doesn't have this new one, so that's kind of cool. So we can, we can get to show it off. So we go up here, and for a while we never really knew how to get out of bounds, but all you really need is hug this, have enough speed, and there's a very tiny gap you can squeeze out of bounds to, so hopefully I can find it. There we go. So, again, very tough to explain, but all you need to know is that to skip this water level, I need to touch specific loading triggers. I need to follow these chains down here, out of bounds, and follow the level below this area. You're not really going to know what's going on at all. But just be happy we skip a water level. No one really likes water levels, do, do we know? we are swimming. Well, swimming levels. Oh, am I going to get the camera changed? The camera's a real, real pain here. Um, so there's a very tiny window right here. I'm going to stop boosting pretty soon because I get to a point where I want the camera to be behind me. Right there. And then I need to, yeah, see? You can't, you can't move around too much. And then you want to swim down here. There we go. So you see the giant water level on the right. You skip all of that and go straight to the tunnel at the end. Um, yeah, super easy. Also, the swim boosting thing is... It looks kind of funny, but it's... Uh, like, the way it works is the circle is grab and R1 is boost. So I'm actually grabbing the air and then boosting afterwards. And that gets me the, you know, the swim boost, whatever you want to call it. Also, also this. Good speed. Yeah. It looks funny.
Got a little forced fight here, and after that, as Punchy mentioned, we could die to the the, the rolling thing. This is the first instance where we could die to it. So I'm gonna be a bit quiet and probably just listen to it after this fight, just to see, you know, listen to where it is. There we go. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> I have it's to wait. Still there. Yeah, I have to wait. All right, here we go. So yeah, we need we need the swimming to get to the next part of the the game. And uh, yeah, now we're entering the. Uh, I forget actually what this part is called, but it's definitely like. I know a part of it's called Challenge of Hades. It's definitely like Hades themed, even though we're gonna get another Hades themed level later on. Um, I think this is also a forced fight in the arena, but you can skip it. Just like that. Very easy. Goes clean over the fight trigger. Yeah. If I get a load at the top for like a full second here, that's how you know I went fast. I did go fast. I did go very fast. So pretty big skip right here. This is Challenge of Hades. Normally you need to read that door and then accept the challenge of Hades, defeat a bunch of enemies, and that door like goes down slowly the more enemies you defeat. You go into the door, you go through a maze, and you get to that button. Oh, I need to roll off of it. Uh, I'll, I'll just stand on it, it's fine. You can save a little bit of time by rolling off it at the end. So defeat all the enemies, open the door, go through the maze, then stand on that button. You can just go straight to it like that. So I hope I get to show this skip now, if you remember it remember it from earlier. I showed you it sort of, but not to its full extent. So the reason I landed on the, the land there instead of the water is because I now have a grounded state in the water. So I can do a, a super jump coming out of the water if I if I boost close enough to the ceiling of the water. Uh, you'll see what happens. It's, it's great. Do you like dolphins? Yeah, oh, uh, I, I think I screwed it up. Yeah, I screwed it up. You can like zip up the, uh, the the giant you know staircase, but I, I ended up diving out. So diving out loses that little um, little animation. Yeah, that's actually one of the cooler ones. So instead of the tiny jump I did there, you just zip up. Okay. So this cutscene, um, the light shining through is actually it actually just loads the room. Even though it's dark, the room is just not loaded at all. I also think this cutscene is just way too long. <laughs> it's just fireballs-ish kind of thing. Also a pretty notorious problematic casual spot is this, getting through these fireballs. So now I need to start upgrading the blades. A little more here for 1200 or so. There we go, 13, that's fine. All right. So I'm kind of low on health. If I get hit by these twice, I, I die. You can squeeze through this very slightly. There we go. Getting the rolls. Okay. One, two. Oh, no, 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 no. You can do it, you can do it. There you <laughs> go. Nice. Just got the time. Yeah. Casually, that, that can get really annoying because you're trying to find the exit and, you know, just keep getting hit. Yeah, there's so many doors there that even casually you have no idea which one's the right one. Okay, so now I'm going to activate uh, God Mode, which I had saved up for like pretty much the whole run. You're meant to take out those archers in the back, but you can climb this rope and just turn on God Mode. It won't it won't knock you off the la uh, the rope, but there are two guys aiming at me. Uh, okay. That was pretty tough. <laughs> Another fight. Lol. <laughs> no. I'm just going to do that. going to jump off the Invisible floor. Fighting things in God of War is overrated. Yeah, there's kind of few fights, although there will be a few later on. It's more of an aerial acrobatics game in a speedrun, really. Okay, so here we got. We. I hate doing that. That that wastes like five seconds because he has to <laughs> you like. Get the tutorial. You get prompt. the you get the tutorial. <laughs> the tutorial from like an hour in. Yeah, how to get up the ledge. Fun fact, if you... Oh, that was kind of low, actually. I hope I don't mess this up. If you enter that rope from too low, you, uh... <laughs> you, th this place is a void. So you want to get that... Um, you want to hatch onto that rope for a bit further up. So here we open the door to the Minotaur. And yes, we will fight the Minotaur. Um, a lot of people kind of complain you don't fight the Hydra, which is a very cool boss at the beginning. You skip that. 
Uh, but the Minotaur is very cool as well. <laughs> Too bad we're gonna break the fight tremendously. If you're looking forward to it. It's still it is still a really cool fight. Um, you'll see what I mean. I like this cutscene actually. I'm just gonna let it play out. Well, not that I have a choice. <laughs> also, there's kind of a debate between a lot of runners how you pronounce Minotaur. I hear I hear Minotaur, Mina, Minotaur, Mina, Mina, Minotaur. You know. Minotaur. I say Minotaur. I don't know. Yeah, no, Minotaur. Yeah. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to focus here. There's a very interesting thing to do with this fight that's, that's kind of broken. So I'm actually pressing R2 at a very precise time to glitch his animation and loop. So normally you're supposed to fight him, and then the steam comes out uh, of his like the holes on his back. Um, and that stuns him, and then you hit him with the log, and then you do it again and again until his armor is gone. But if you stun lock him with the, lo uh, the logs like this, you can get his armor gone so easily like that. So, Also, fun fact, if you stand in the mid-right here, he just doesn't attack you. It's not like he misses his attack or anything. He just doesn't, he just like gives up. Like he just doesn't, yeah, he just doesn't, you know, do anything. And that's the Minotaur fight. And convenient. Right, the whole. So you said that we actually do an, an actual fight. That's like a very generous definition of actual fight. Um, yeah. Well, there's a few more. You do kill him. Yeah, yeah you do. You do. You do need to. It's technically a fight. More spiral staircase. This one's easy, surprisingly. Uh, all I need to do is hold the buttons in the right way. Who wow. invented spiral? Did you ever invented spiral staircase? I just think they were so clever. Yeah. Oh, we get to rip another head off. Q death grips or Metallica or Gojira or something. Anything. You think it'd be after the swords? No, only skulls. <laughs> no, just just the head. Just skulls. You don't need swords. So you need to. You need to, you know, go down the stairs. But no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fastest way to take the stairs is to take the ceiling. <laughs> Alright, that's a pretty long one. There we go. Express elevator to not here. Alright, we got Mr. Vape Lord here. <laughs> Vape Lord Hades. Lord Hades. You have forever such impressive creatures. But your skills will not... Alright, we get it. <laughs> we get it. You vape. Alright, we get it. Like, look at the, the black smoke. Right. Of the dead who stand ready to so fight by your side. Yeah. Take this weapon, Kratos. That's actually a very useful ability, though. It's going to help us out uh, to do skips while these guys take care of enemies. And like I said, I have magic regeneration, so I can use that efficiently. Another tutorial fight where the game's like, yeah, use Army of Hades here. No. Oops. There we go. Make our way behind his out. face. And here we go. So Army of Hades is like this auto-targeting orb thing that flies out and just attacks things while you can do other things. So it's useful for like crowd control while you're actually trying to do skips. Yeah, it's um it's kind of like you know a bunch of spirits. Alright, check this out. If I hold R1 here. Oh yeah, press the R2 button. There you go, <laughs> you, you contributed. I did it. <laughs> this is now a co-op run. Make a category, I want my world record. I'm collecting. You can you can be in my PB now. Oh, Hell yeah. oh wow. So a small optimizer I found is actually letting go of the crank here and it snapping to it like that is like a little bit faster as you see. It's uh, noticeable. It's yeah, a tiny, tiny optimizer. We take those, we take those. All right, hopefully the, oh, the roll, I should be able to outrun it. 
<laughs> the boulder's following us? Yeah. It's still there. That rolling boulder is still there. Is he going to be here? Is he going to catch is us? Is he going to? No. 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 He might be a problem on the way back. I don't know. He's definitely not going to be a problem now. One more. Crank pulling is just like a, a thing in this game. It's a you know a special thing. Crank that. <laughs> Crank that. All right, we got no. Yeah, it's far away. We're we're good. Or <laughs> camera. Camera. All right, enemies at the end of this hallway. Hopefully they're nice. Wow, thanks. That was very polite. They like <laughs> totally gave you yeah. a buy on that. Oh, oh yeah yeah hey hey dude yeah you know you gotta get through. Sure, All right. Uh, stupidly long cutscene of the temple going up. Donations, if you have any. Feel free, Charlie. Unless if we don't have any, then I can talk about the story. <laughs> We've got ten dollars, uh, ten dollars more from Fishy. Um, that's the only donation right now. But uh, of course, everyone watching, please consider that we have plenty of uh, donation incentives and bid wars coming up for all of, well, many of the runs. Uh, throughout this marathon. Uh, to give you uh, an example, we've got South Park Stick of Truth coming up. Um, you can donate for yeah, which uh, difficulty pl he plays on. Uh, we've got uh, a incentive for Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, where if oh. it's met, uh, you'll get to see a whole other game. And that's just two examples of many, many uh, so far. So. Yep, keep your donations coming in. Thank you very much. One of the donation incentives I saw is for the Harry Potter run happening at, I don't actually remember when, called Professor McGonagall Falls Down the Stairs. Donate for that one, because <laughs> I want to see it. Yeah, that sounds funny. All right, I actually screwed up right at the end. If I get, if I go through that hallway very fast, I get the camera to turn around. I might still have gotten it. No, I didn't. It's very convenient. So now I don't know where the boulder is. Where is it? Oh, hey, 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 buddy. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> I did hear it being good, very good I, read. Though. I heard it being very loud, so I'm like, okay. Good read on that. Get it? Yes. Okay. So I am okay. Just listen to the audio, and you'll probably understand the skip. <laughs> I overlapped two cutscenes in one, and that saves having to wait at the bottom for uh, the narrator to be like, "Your progress is impressive, Kratos." Uh, first Q and A coming up, guys. Uh, free to ready join. your questions. Yeah, it, it'll be in like a minute from here. We've got a very long cutscene. And make sure they're good ones. If you guys actually want to hear the story, I can talk about it, but I think I'd rather. Angry man murders everyone. Yeah. I'm oversimplifying. I'll prioritize the boys. Which chat? I like the transition from like the, the suit again into just him walking. <laughs> so these are the satyr enemies. They're very annoying. Luckily we don't get to fight any of them here. But in Challenge of the Gods, if you're gonna get an NG plus file, you'll encounter those guys a lot. Oh. Do that again. There's also no, no easy way around the uh, challenge of the gods it's yeah super hard no matter what you do yeah you it's it's so obnoxious so you need Pleasure that for, for the costumes basically the gods, all right let's see what do you got is this game 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 i mean natively it's 4 by 3 on ps2 but 16 by 9 because of ps3 i'm playing on ps3 right now Had it been that let's see since he'd almost met his how are you doing man oh thank you i'm doing great variants. i'm doing great thank you i could probably use water but that's because i'm talking a lot you know Pineapple or pizza, yes or no? Do I pick a side or do I go neutral? Follow your heart, Ricky. No. <laughs> no. Or you don't, don't then. You don't, you don't put you pineapple on pizza. Sorry. I'm gonna have to go with no. Ares would save Kratos. Is Cap no, Cap is not he the best evil. Not not at all. I'm actually I actually check out like the statistics of like Only how much Cap has fallen and I'm like Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Eat that. This day, I, shall carry I wish Franker Z would make a comeback. Franker Z is I'm I'm an old boy. We used Franker Z way back in the day. As promised, Ares uh, rescued his new disciple. Bringing forth uh, the power.
Has the new God of War ever been speed ramped? Destroying yes, but it's basically a fast <laughs> casual playthrough. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if it was like over seven hours. Yeah, though. it's like six or seven hours long. No yeah, one really runs it. Yeah, it's a lot of cutscenes. Yeah. You can't skip any of them. Yeah, yeah pretty much. No, no to modern video game God developers, don't do that. Don't, Please don't let do us that. skip them. Yeah. Please. Don't even, he doesn't even have the super glitch because you can swim. Forged in the foulest depths of Hades. See, people always say favorite game of all time, but don't you feel like that opinion changes throughout yeah. time? Yeah. I don't have any one. I usually, game I usually have, uh, I usually say like, um, you know, I usually just say a few because I can't just pick one. I really like Mirror's Edge, and I really like Jack Three. Those are very good ones, and I also like Digimon World Three. Those are all great games. Hagrid is dead. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> well, what did I said to you? I'm you feeling very PS2 Hagrid right now. Yeah. Even for Kratos to pay. What plan? What game do you plan on speedrunning next? I, I kind of. I'm kind of in a dilemma. Uh, I've been trying to do a bit of everything. I'm trying a little bit of Tell Jack 2, a little bit of Golden Eye, a little bit of Jack X, a little bit of this game. Um, thinking of PC stuff as well. So I just the whole. My problem a lot of the time is a. Uh, yeah. So my problem a lot of the time is I want to pick one because I don't want to speed run if I'm not like very good at the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to compete. I want to be top level. Focus on one at a time is is yeah. the way. Pretty much. I am I can't juggle two games at once either. I hate yeah. trying. Thanks he says having two runs in this event. Yeah. Thanks for the questions, guys. We have another one coming up later. Oh, the camera popped. I'm, I'm going to do this backwards. I'm getting destroyed. Move out of the way. <laughs> Block uh. it. Oh, they might shoot me out of the air. Uh, oh. I think you got it. Just okay. about. We're good. I've never, gotten, I've never gotten owned by those guys. I actually like that the word owned is making its way back to, you know, to the mainstream. I especially like that. Pwned is like super ultra rare, and I'm like, dude, that's such a that's such an ancient word that it's almost funny again. Um, so yeah, this is Cliff of, Ma of Madness. I'd argue it's like the second hardest area next to C, which I somehow nailed perfectly fine. Um, fairly tough area here. So yeah, this is where we use Army of Hades to kill the archers so they don't interrupt me here. They did a good job of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Move the chat a bit here. Ooh, that was close. Could have fallen off. This only saves like one second, but you know, we take those. Instead of skipping the bridge, go ar going around the side. Alright, coming up is the longest Medusa's Gaze high jump in the whole run. So I will focus. Right here. Alright, show me some tech. Yes. No, there it is. Right. First try. Yes. Very good. Yeah, it's it's very high. <laughs> like it's really, you are meant to collect two necklaces by doing two huge puzzles. But right here, uh, right there, I, I got another cutscene that you know, you know, loading trigger and all that stuff. Yeah. Also, the depth perception on these ropes is awful. I thought I was gonna miss just now. I I have missed before on very good runs. It's very difficult because after about eight or seven Medusa's Gaze high jumps, you need to reset your double jump for, to get new air momentum to make that to make it so your infinite jump is, you know, still raising upwards and not descending. All right, very important menu here as well. It's the longest menu in terms of how long you stay in it. You need to go all the way down to 1,200 or 500. Sorry, went a little bit past, but that's just fine. Um, so Architect's Tomb is also a uh, I remember getting a little stuck here casually um, because I didn't really know what to do. So there's a hole on my right. You can see it slightly. You're meant to block a, uh, drop a giant block on it, and then that puts you into a new area, and then that proceeds the level. But oh, failed that right there. Just gonna get back up. But you can get into that area early by doing by going through the ceiling in this room. And this is another one of those where I know what I'm doing. You guys have. Probably not. You're not gonna know what's going on. Yeah, I'm gonna go through the ceiling here, and I need the red chest here to be in the top right. 
corner of my screen very nicely. Yep, there we go. He navigated out of bounds using the red chest location on his screen as a visual cue for where he is relative to it. Yeah. Which is like, there's some real, real giga brain stuff going on there. Yeah. Spiral stair. Also, that again. rolling was very good. Uh, <laughs> rolling in that area has like the most camera, the hardest camera changes in the entire game, basically, and I just uh, breezed right past it. This is a very infamous casual fight. Yeah. Everyone has problems with it on pretty much any difficulty. You can just do this. Nope. Oh, this is bad. Oh, all right. Yeah, you could just walk around the trigger for the fight. And here we are. I'm going to walk around just a little bit here for the checkpoint. And this is also one of the hardest skips in the run. Next to the ladder one I did way back. The fastest path through anything in the floor is always through the ceiling. Oh, he's half in, he's okay, half in. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, we got it. Nice. Let's go. That's really good. That's super good. All the way down. You gotta stand on like out of bounds, but not out of bounds enough that you just fall out and die. Yeah. You gotta it's be like. A, it's a very narrow part you have to stand on. So the reason I did that was the door was locked because I didn't do the fight. I went around the door and fell down the, sh the giant shaft because the game assumes that I watched the cutscene where I got Pandora's box and left with the elevator all the way down. Oops. So um, yeah. So, when I fall all the way down, the game gives me Pandora's box just like that. All right, second Q&A, boys. We got it. We got it coming up right here. Um, if I actually were you must bring to push, box back to you cannot defeat Ares without it. if I were to actually push Pandora's box through all of the desert and all of Athens, I'd be here all day. So obviously, we got a twist incoming. But you do have to push the box all the way across the room. Yeah, you, you still have to push it to the door. That itself feels like an eternity. Yeah, After sweet. a thousand all right, years, what do we got? Pandora's box oh, I like that question. I like that question. Ricky, Knack 2 or Jack 2? To hmm. For your next speed game. I'm, I'm going to have to see how Knack 3 turns out, you know? I'm going to have to see how Knack 3 is. Then, then maybe I'll, I'll decide what's the better series. Uh, little Spartan. You've recovered I have never seen Darksider, so I can't tell you if it's worth speedrunning or not. not. Let me let me tell you something right now. Speedrun what you enjoy. Don't let other people tell you what you should speedrun. Like, that. I see a lot of people that run like platformers where you Goodbye, can like skip cutscenes Spartan. and stuff like that. And they say, oh, I'm so glad I don't have to watch these cutscenes and stuff like that. Like, this is still a sick run, even with the cutscenes. Like, you, you just have to deal, that, deal with the fact that pretty much every game... It's gonna have a negative, so don't let anyone say life. what you should run and shouldn't run, right? Even in death. Because it's not your fault the cutscenes are there. It's not like your not choice. Fade. You just you you know you just enjoy running the game. <coughs> for how could he forget Speed run philosophy into loot with your host, Ricky. Best Pringles flavor. They're actually playing Pringles in like the back. <laughs> sour cream and onion is very good. Me. Correct. My yeah, wife. I like sour cream and onion. My child. Uh, oh. They were left in spot. You are becoming what run are you looking forward to in the marathon? Clumsy Kratos. Fred is the absolute must-watch. It's only 20 minutes dead. long, and it's gonna be—it's the funniest thing. You, you thought like Octodad was funny, you like Bob. Even it's like stronger. the funniest you version of that you'll ever see. Like it's so great. Itself. It is the flames okay, what do we got? Kratos realized. His Maybe getting I, a couple of donations? Yeah, go for it. Feel free, feel yeah, free. Yeah, we've got uh, 25 anonymous dollars who says, Hey everyone, here's to another amazing ESA event. Hope everybody has an awesome time. Uh, $10 says, uh, Always love these events. Anonymous again. And finally, 20 more anonymous dollars who says, Enjoying the marathon. Keep up the great work. Can't wait to see more games get broken. Uh, just a quick one to everyone at the hotel. Uh, the tech is aware that the uh, TV feed is lagging. It's being looked into. Thank you. His skin white oh. with the ash of his dead family. <coughs> the ghost of Sparta had been born. Let me see. In the end, in death, he had failed. Wait. As the minions of oh wow, that's Kerry. Yeah, I know that. I know Kerry. Um, shout out to EXE. He's been running God of War at uh, ESA like continuously, and uh, eventually he he did stop running uh, God of War. So now I took over as the one European that runs God of War. The single European.
It's a surprisingly Brazilian-dominated speed game. Go to the go to the leaderboards of this game and have a laugh. Brazilian. Norway. Brazil, Denmark, Brazil, 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 Brazil. Not Norway. Germany, Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. It's just all Brazilian. But it's actually kind of a good thing because it's still exposure um, to just people in the world in general. There's a big uh, Brazilian YouTuber who loves God of War, and he exposed the speedrun to all the all the viewers that you know he uh, that he had. So that's why there's so many of them. But they're they're very kind. They're you know they contribute a lot to the run. And the world record holder right now is actually Milo from Brazil. I am actually gonna grab the health if you. I mean, you look at my health. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. Um, just don't want to get one shot by anything right now. So Path of Hades is also. Uh, I mean, it, pretty much everything in this game is like pretty difficult. Um, despite it being hell, it's not too bad in the speedrun sense, but it's one of the worst area casual uh, areas casually. It's so hard. Like these spike pillars are uh, these rotating spike thing cylinders, whatever. Not cylinder, what? I, I'm, I don't know a good name for them. But Cylinder's fine. Yeah, I suppose. The Bloody Log of Doom. Keshi's Castle, 18 plus edition. Yeah. I'm going to skip a few logs here by going over this gap. There's a few more on the left, but... Oh, boost? No. Sometimes that bat can actually boost you forward and give you permanent speed until you stop jumping which is kind of weird all right this is where I get, this is where I pray I need to hope that the archers don't hit me in midair so I don't fall down it's happens it doesn't not too often but a little too frequent than I'd like oh don't do it okay didn't do it okay if you play casually this is probably the part you'll remember and I'm just gonna stay quiet and let this do the talking no, I caught it. I think I might miss a cycle. Yeah, I think I missed a cycle. It's it's fine. Damn. Damn. It is a very precise height you need to jump up here. I'm gonna do three. It is. He's on the barrier. Yeah, it's ve stop. it's very thin. It's very thin. Okay, so I need to look at where the spikes are. Yeah, this part can get a bit loud on the audio, so I apologize for that. The blades are on a global cycle, I think. We. Okay, that's one. Kind of fine there, my dude. Okay. Got to focus on the second one here. Go all the way back to the bottom if you get hit once. Yes. Okay. Just we're through. About. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, yeah. So that's one of the tougher parts, catching the early cycle on that first pillar. So here's an actual fight. Each of one of these enemies is tied to the platforms that are going to be crossing here. So the fastest way to take these guys out is to activate Army of Hades and then do circle, circle, block because the third circle swing has a lot of end lag. So we want to make sure that we don't use that part of the attack. So, here we go. You can also knock them away. Sometimes be annoying. It's going good so far. Yeah, these enemies are really, really annoying, but because of Army of Hades, they knock them up like very nicely for us. Should be the last guy I'm taking care of here. Yeah. Okay, and one more. Yes, okay, good. Man, Hades is nerve wracking. <laughs> Alright, one in a hundred chance these guys shoot me off. We're good. <laughs> Okay. Hey. Well, I, I can't Let's actually try. fall like that. If I'm it, the only way I can die there is if I'm in midair. Um, 
So here's the end of Hades. And uh, since Kratos is dead, we got a convenient rope to go up. This is a very difficult climbing section. Okay. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna focus. This is very crucial. I hit this. That's very far. To ah, I might miss it. Go for it anyway. Uh, yes. No. Just okay. about there. It yes. is. You okay. skipped a cutscene by doing that. Yeah. Okay. Saves good time. Whew. Okay, so we did the same thing again. That's called the blackout glitch. I it's the one I failed earlier in the run where I upgrade the blades, and because the game is too busy trying to upgrade the blades, um, because the game's too busy upgrading the blades, it delays the cutscene so I can roll through it, and that saves 40 seconds or so. So there we go. Right there, he, he skipped a uh, uh, one of the fight just by going over the trigger again. Yeah. yeah. So we got final boss rush here in a second. So I'm actually going through the area I swam under way earlier. Yeah, this is your cool part or you yep. need to save her. So the the part is loading anyway, so I think I can just grab health. As you see. Though oh, I barely I nailed barely. it right on. Kratos yeah. had traversed the desert of lost souls. Bested the deadly trap. So I guess I can talk about the story, might as well. Um, I'll try to, uh, you know, make it brief. There was but one just so we can sum it up left. in this cutscene. Basically, Kratos Zeus, led a Greek army, and he got a little too cocky with the army. So he got in a fight he couldn't handle, and he was about to die in that fight, basically. So, um, the guy's head we cut off, the, the Hagrid guy we, we talked about, um, that was the guy that was about to kill him. But because Kratos was about to lose the fight, he yelled Ares. Which is this guy right here? Kratos he yelled for the God of War to come save him. So from the uh, Kratos survived that fight, basically. But because of that, do, he became father? the slave of, of Ares, and Ares manipulated me. him and my, like God brainwashed him to kill his own family. And because Kratos wants to like rid the memories that haunt him still, as he says, um, he asks the gods if they can help him remove After the memories. And in trade-off, he needs to kill Ares to remove the memories. But the only way to kill Ares is to get Pandora's box, which we we went through the temple all that way to get Pandora's box. So now here's the final showdown with Ares. Um, pretty troll fight. Um, hopefully it goes well. The second fight is more troll, but this one is very precise. So the lunge, the R1 lunge, and the swing is going to be the fastest way to kill him. If the lunge isn't right through his belly, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna miss a lot of hits, and the fight can go. A true they can go all very off. Kratos. So I could die. So I'm gonna, you know, hope for the best. Your final lesson is at hand. Okay. Yep. And continue to do it. Good so far. Yep. Oh, yeah, okay. Ah, I knew it. So the lunge, again, it was slightly too far up. And because I didn't get the save point, I go very far back. So that's like a huge death. And the loading's going to take forever. It's so it's such a difficult fight to like actually get down uh, well. So I go all the way back here, unfortunately. And in case it happens Yikes. again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab the checkpoint. If you get the save point, and just like get in and get out of the the, the save point. I um you get a checkpoint instead. So I decided to you know do risky strats, not do that. And uh, it was it was pretty you know pretty uh, brutal. Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> so like I don't know why that yeah. void is there. It no matter how far you fall, you're still fine. I'm not sure. So let's just grab it right 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 now. There we go. I should be able to skip the cutscene now. Oh, I actually don't have the blades out. Hold on. Great. Yeah. So this is gonna be off again. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too bad. Yeah. We'll see. I'm gonna run away. Ooh. There we go. Is that the best you can do? Oh, he's gonna. You are no 
This is such a hectic fight. He's so off cycle right now. Oh, he's doing it again. Okay. I need to wait. I need to wait for the army of Hades to, to hit him. Okay. No, grab him, please. Please. Okay. Okay, we're through. Troll fight. <laughs> so now he pulls us into this dream sequence. And this is the part where I was talking about, you can see, because he basically has nightmares from, his, from him killing his family. He gets to re-experience that through this. Um, we got a we got a final Q and A coming up after uh, the final boss. By the way, for some dumb reason, the final boss we have like a three four minute downtime after that, and all you have to do is sit in the throne for uh, you know twenty seconds of movement. Yeah, this, this part actually is like really. Ten years, really annoying. This part is so long. Yeah. The end. Look again. Like I said, I'm, I'm happy the cutscenes are at the ending and not at the beginning. Could be way worse. So, sees his family here. Kratos, what's happening? Where are we? By the gods, can this be real? We got a bunch of nightmare clones here. So at a very high level, you can lose a lot of time to this fight. Daddy! If you're like low-ish level, you don't have to worry about this fight too much. But I'm gonna attempt to do something called the loop later on, which is basically killing the enemies in the same spot and locking them down to spawn in those locations. So I'm just gonna slash through these enemies at the beginning. And I'm gonna pop God mode later on to hit every, kill en uh, every enemy in one hit. It's better to use it a bit later. So I'm gonna wait with it. A lot of objects on screen, so it might be like very tough to understand what's you know, going on. I've never seen it. But basically I'm using Army of Hades, slashing away, they're giving me orbs. Once the roof falls off, I wanna use it there. Also, I can accidentally go for a hug <laughs> in this fight if I get too close to my wife and uh, press the circle button. We don't, we don't want the hugs. The hugs are slow, even though I do like them. Even the hugs are nice. They're slow in this game, unfortunately. So the hug just gives her HP. <laughs> I sacrifice a bit of my own HP to give her some. Okay, so this is the loop. Get these three over and over again while the army of Hades takes out the rest over here. I'm not sure how fast this is, it's looking okay-ish. Oh, wow. Maybe one or two more. There we go. Kratos had done the impossible. He had saved his family. So Kratos. you might not remember it because I slightly Please, skipped it. Do you remember the part where I said the sewer would spawn if I got the, the load and then swam back? There is a giant sword, like, that you have to walk across to get to the sewers. But again, it's faster to swim backwards. You'll see a twist with that sword. It'll still be for a little while. Is death. No, not, not again. You should have joined me, Kratos. You should have been stronger. By the gods. And there it is. The battle was not over. The gods, it seemed, had a final gift for Kratos. Still have allies in Olympus. All right, yet. final fight is after this, but time won't be for a very long time. Still. Okay. 
Okay, so this guy has three attacks. Let's see if I get the best one. Yes, I did. I got the teleport. That's the one you want. And that's the final fight. There we go. That's it. It's not time yet. It's not time yet. We still have, you know, a little bit to go. In your time of so smash get, that button when it's time. Yeah. So again, he has three attacks. The fireball, which is the awful one. The sword attack, which is... You can work it out. It's actually technically the fastest one if you have Army of Hades left over from the dream sequence, which I didn't. And then the safest one is the teleport. And I got the teleport, so, you know, take that just fine. So, very long cutscene. Uh, we could let it play out, but we could also do Q&A. So, hit us. Yeah, hit us with the cues. And by us, I mean him. I don't know what it is. So yeah, we defeat Ares. And Kratos had done the impossible. <coughs> a mortal defeating a god. Ares was. No Ever tried Devil May Cry or Bayonetta? No, I actually haven't. Maybe I should try Bayonetta or Devil May Cry, like both of them. They're probably really good. I hear a lot of good things about them. My favorite game casually. Um, I really like the hat in time this year. Or uh, last year, right? Came out last year. It's Has it really been this long? No, it came out this 20 year. 2017. We'll yeah, it came out last again. year. Yeah, I really like the hat in time. It's a very great, the a great playthrough. could not be set for Kratos. For as he sought to rebuild his soul oh. with the help of the gods. The truth was revealed to him. Athena. I don't think I want to give my best Kratos impre in impersonation. You have done well, Kratos. Though we mourn the death of our brother, Some people say I have good impersonations of something, but if I can't picture it in my we head, I'm not going to try. sins would be forgiven. And so they are. But we never promised to take away your nightmares. What does the fox say? Down no B. No man, no god could ever forget the terrible deeds you have done. McDonald's or Burger the King? End, Eat somewhere else. Knowing the visions <laughs> of his past Eat Max. would never leave him. Kratos made his way to the bluffs. Uh, waffle or pancakes? Um, waffles. Ooh, indecision. <laughs> yeah, waffles. The gods of Olympus have abandoned I've never been asked these, you know. I, I usually, every time I say, oh, ask me questions, I get the duck-sized thing. Like, you know that one, right? No, would you rather no fight one. a one... Whatever. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that one. Kratos I hate that cast one. Himself from the highest mountain in all uh, I'm not going to answer these normie questions. Come on, guys. You're going to ask After me about Fortnite? I'm not going to sit here and talk about Fortnite. Come on. I could tell the story, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should. Okay, I won't. Death <laughs> That's great. Would be his escape from madness. Uh. The fate of Kratos was not as it seemed. How many times have I beaten the game? The gods had Question. other plans. Upwards of 50 to 80 times, I'd guess. Uh, like a feather, Kratos found himself risen from the sea and placed on solid earth. Ooh, how do you? I like that one. How do you like your steak? You will not die this it's like day, a very, Kratos. like a fine the thing. The gods cannot allow one um, who has performed such service. You, because I'm from Denmark, you usually actually Fairy don't say how you want it. They just kind of give it to you. But when I came to the uh, to the states, for uh, when I was GDQ, they were like, oh, you know, how do you want? I'm like, what do you what do you mean? How do I want it? I, I had the same. And problem. then they had to explain to me like medium well, medium rare. And then I'm like, yeah, I guess I guess I'll have to say medium well. How it is. All right, so we're gonna smash that pretty soon. Okay, so all we need to do is sit in the throne for Mount Olympus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that button. Hit very, that button. Yeah, very hard. It feels very good. Okay. Maybe don't hit it too hard though. The tech will get mad at us if we break yeah. it. Again. <laughs> and time. There we go. Nice. Yeah, it didn't stop, but it's fine. That's God of War. It's like 123 something. I'm happy with that. You know, that's pretty good. It's a very hard game, so you know, I'm happy with that. Uh, things are bound to go wrong, and yeah. feel free to follow ESA. Keep watching the runs. Follow me if you want. My Twitch is the Rixer. Same with Twitter. Even though on speedrun.com, I'm Ricky. The Rixer turned into Ricky somehow. Thank you, guys. Thank you.
And thanks for watching and uh, you know giving the questions and all that. That's very nice. No, attempt God mode. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a wuss. That's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.